Good morning, fellow Malaysians. It's Matthias Cheng once again. Today's address is very important to all of you. What I will do is to show you from the word go there is this documentary evidence that cannot be denied that the one MDB Kumasi Kabal has committed offences and no one can say in any way in the world that no offence has been committed. So that's what I'm going to do, right? Because some of you complain that you can't photograph because the documents are not clear enough. I've not enlarged them to A3 size. Group before you, you photograph it first, the whole page, and then para by para. Okay, this is very important because from today onwards, all I want all of you in Malaysia to do is to use only these documents. That's all you need to counter the fake news and lies by the regime. This is your weapon of choice, the first and last weapon. Don't be distracted by any other issues. Focus on that, and we can destroy our opponents, the evil, the evil forces that's descended on our country. Very simple, okay? And then later, I will give some short explanations as to this, this documents that I'm going to exhibit before you to further emphasize what you need to say to your family, your friends, and anywhere throughout the country in your campaign. So the first document is very important. To recap, right? Some time ago, the claimants at DOJ went to the court in California for a stay of the civil proceedings or for feature because DOJ wants to launch criminal proceedings. And the state was granted on all the actions, the main action and 15 other sub-actions, all state, to enable DOJ, all right, to launch criminal proceedings. Then, suddenly quack in what his press statement says, all civil proceedings is stayed. All right? He's right, he said that. But he left out about the criminal proceedings. And he didn't explain why. Very important. Out of the blues, stepson Riza Aziz gave a consent judgment. Okay? Now, if a person is mistaken, consent judgment can only be given by Riza Aziz and Rick Granite to DOJ if the consent for stay has been lifted. So the first document is an order signed by the judge in California that this particular action, the sub-action involving World Wall Street, the stay was lifted with the consent of both parties. You got it? The order is signed by the judge. The proposed order was given to the judge. He agreed. He signed it. The date is I believe 6 March. Okay? Now, so the original stay was lifted for this purpose to allow parties to enter into a consent judgment. Alright? Very quickly, here. Yeah? Here is the order of the consent judgment, the actual order, first page. It's big enough for you to photograph it, right? Use a handphone, slowly capture as much as you can. Then I'll give you now the second page, the signed copy of the consent judgment by the judge, 8 March.
Okay? Now, very important, I will now, I have extracted, right, the relevant paragraphs of the 27-page consent judgment. These few paragraphs is more than enough to kill and whack and bury our enemies, the evil regime. The first one is at page 5 of the consent order. Okay, page 5. Red Granite agreed to pay the forfeiture sum. 16 million. You got it? Page 5, huh? Okay. Now that's para A. Para B says very clearly. States, right? Red Granite intends to provide to satisfy any portion of the forfeiture amount shall identify the source of those funds and provide to the government sufficient information to satisfy the government as to the legitimacy of any all source of such funds other than funds already in the possession of or held by the benefit of Red Granite. Okay? That means Rick Brennan Company, who owns the film with Wall Street, must get a source of every funds they have to show that, right, these funds are legitimate as opposed to illegitimate funds, as to which will be forfeited to the DOJ. Then next is page 13, very important. Page 13. This paragraph states, Riza Aziz, a stepson, the major shareholder gave a personal guarantee and pledged and charged all his personal assets to secure the forfeiture sum. Consent judgment. He consented to lift this state order so that he can pay the 60 million US dollar forfeiture sum in three installments totaling US 16 million. Read those words, right? Program them. Okay. Now, I'll read to you. Very important. All right? The entirety of the agreement, the consent judgment, shall be with recourse to the major sh majority shareholder in his personal capacity. And the majority shareholder shall personally guarantee Red Granite's payment obligations described in paragraphs 8 to 16 of this agreement and the majority shareholder shall pledge all of his assets in whatever form held of any type and wherever located to his full satisfaction of Red Granite's obligation to pay the forfeiture amount. Red Granite and the majority shareholder shall execute such documentation as may be reasonably necessary in order to effectuate and perfect the screen interest and pledge of the majority shareholders' assets. Okay? And now, the last paragraph of the consent judgment as signed by the judge. just says that all agreed that right? there should be no modification of this agreement by anyone unless there's agreement signed in writing by all the parties okay so <coughs> you have asked the question this is the propaganda this is the weapon to the juggler <coughs> of the enemy us and campaign why did Riza Aziz, the Sepsan, enter into consent judgment and lift the state order? Why? Did he have permission? Did he have the permission of Najib, the stepfather, 
Rosmoa, the mother, or without? What does he mean? He wanted to save his own neck. Alright? He was even prepared to guarantee the payment and use all his assets all over the world, wherever they are, how it's held, whether in another person's name, in front of companies, all must be declared to DOJ to secure the repayment of the forfeiture sum. So the ultimate money will come to Malaysian citizens. This is a bombshell. I've said it before. And this will smash anyone who says what MDB money is secured and not lost. To the extent that Riza Aziz and Rick Grant has to pay the OJ and Riza Aziz's stepson, 60 million at least the minimum is connected to 1MDB. If there's no connection to 1MDB because of for future action, it was to trace money connected to 1MDB that was used money laundered and diverted to buy all kind of funny assets, gambling, prostitution, what have you. Okay? So this is the first step in the juggler of evil, okay? And demand all MPs of Bangladesh National, why have you kept silent on the consent judgment by Riza Aziz? Ask Tajib and Rosma, did they agree or consent to his stepson to enter into a consent judgment, huh? Consent judgment. This is the quicksand that will drag them down to hell. Lepas itu, kalau dia cakap lah, up dalam anti fake news act. What is stated by the government is the truth, right? Bukan nanti pula, bukan lies. So we use that to whack them. Like I said before. Ini dah satu statement from Bank Negara Zati from Bank Negara Zati saying that a lot of crimes have been committed by one MDB to the extent that the entire financial system was in jeopardy under threat by the criminality and this was the gravest responsibility ever shown by Zati Governor of Bank Negara Anyway, you can Google to get a statement, right? If you can't photograph, get all the words, Google yourself. Take some responsibility, help me do your work. I can't do everything for you. I've already given you the statement. You can easily Google. Alright? Within two minutes, you can download this argument. Okay? Okay. This is page two of the statement. Now, Zeti said that the fine imposed on MDB is the highest in the history of Ben Nagar. And the primary objective of one M of Ben Nagara in dealing with the M1 MDB case was to ensure the integrity of the country's financial system. They said to go after MDB. Kalau MDB punya dway, tak hilang, was not money laundered, was it stolen? Why did Bank Nagara went after one MDB? Because they borrowed so much money. It's a company owned by the Treasury, Ministry of Finance. Kalau Zeti and Bank Nagara, they don't take any action. Habis cerita, a whole bank system will be collapsed. That is the extent of the criminality. The scumbags, the robbers who rape our country of his finances, okay? This statement, okay? You use this. Google it, huh? Then, they say, one MDB has committed no crimes, huh? AG, started co-op, the line line, okay? And even, Prime Minister, now, this is the press statement. Why, by Bank Nagara, on 28th April 26, why they impose the fine, what are the reasons? I've explained that, to all of you previously, 
Here is a document. Here is a document. Got it? Okay. This is a page two of the press statement by Bank Nagara. April 216. Okay? The earlier statement by Zeti is a summary of what happened in 216. The earlier exhibit is a press statement by Zeti in 217. Okay? One MDB mengaku salah. Admit to the crime. Pay the fine. With the consent of AG. Kema, kema, ha? Kenapa? Najib boleh cakap. Tak ada jenayah. No crimes. Nothing wrong. The fine was imposed with the consent of AG. Okay. Now, very quickly. What is the law? What is the law? To enable Bank Negara to whack what MDB. Okay. All right, and to whack one MDB and Jolo and Riza by the OJ. Okay, Financial Service Act two one three, section two four nine. I want to explain. You will take your time to read it. Everyone involved with one MDB is guilty of the offence. Habis cerita. Okay. Page 2 of section 249 Explain in detail Who are the culprits The financial rapists Scumbags Criminal bastards Page 3 Section 2 Hold on Page 3 right of section 249 Okay. Section 250. Very important. And now section 253, the most important section of the French Service Act 213. Invoke this session in all your campaign and counter the allegation of AG eh? and Najib and every scumbag in AMNO and Barca National. Why a compound was levied against one MDP? It can be only be levied and imposed and enforced against one MDP with the consent of AG. After the offense was committed, so when one MD pays the fine, they mengaku salah. They must to do it. Okay? Page 3. Or other page 2 of section 253. Okay? So now, I'll give you all the sufficient documents right, that will smash every argument and every fake news they're promoting. Okay. Last document. This is all you need in your propaganda, in the charamas, in your family, with your friends, in your workplace. Use this document. Each one of you, make one set for yourself, one for your family, and one for your friend. And thereafter, he asks, each member of your family to make one copy for himself, for his friends, and for his colleague in the workplace. Mushroom e-blast it, spread out. Okay? Let's target it. Then this video will reach 100,000 hits from our website and YouTube. Can you imagine if you multiply 10 times, 1 million people will have the documents, okay, will have the documents to put a nail in the coffin of Najib. And in this article, Scumbag Minister 
or advisor in the department, Idris Jala, was interviewing Najib. And he said one animal will be successful, but for the expose of the criminality by the opposite parties who were keen to overthrow him from power. So by that statement in the interview, he's saying, what MDB is squeaky clean, no crimes, would have been successful if this was IPO, what have you. Hmm? This is a filthy lie, and this man here, Idris Jala, be the minister, is complicit, conniving with the criminal PM to tell lies. Huh? In the light of all the sections which I've shown to you of the Financial Services Act. So now, have you got all this photograph? You know where to, right? You can Google this, you can Google this easily. Okay? You can Google and download Financial Services Act 213. Section 249, 250, 253, 2, uh, what have you. You can Google or go to website 1MDB for them to confirm their pay. The press statement by Bank Nagra, you can Google them. Accept the court documents, which I have access because I'm registered with the court as a lawyer. And as an accused has been acquitted, wrongly charged. Okay? So you have all these documents now. You don't need any more evidence. Okay, don't waste time. Okay? Now, when you go and do a campaigning, don't be afraid, right, of the Anti-Fake News Act. Because these are documents of the government, understand? Ben Nagar's Act, right, acting a proper tool, the French Service Act, which is a court document, an act of Malaysian Parliament, not any foreign law. Right? And Sally Crock says, DOJ will a complaint, orders, are not fake news. It's the truth. And this truth is corroborated by the scumbag stepson of Najib. Consent judgment. Kalau does not recognize the procedure. Makama, the California, is not legitimate. Kenapa Riza Aziz consent to judgment? Now, buy a drink. For future sum 16 million. Now, Bristuji, Jandi Sendiri. Now, Baya, Onto DOJ, 60 juta. The hmm? upper asset, the other, Ruma, Penthouse, the line line, Kemana Mana, must be secured, charged to DOJ. This is the knife, understand? They can go to the juggler politically against the Nazi regime. And they'll be very quiet, you see? Oh, they play about Joe Law. Joe Law's not the order of equanimity. Joe Law's not involved. But here you are. Why are they keeping silent the stepson of Nazi, the son of Rosma, submitting to the jurisdiction? of USA court. Hmm? Whereas Jolo is a fugitive. Larry, left, right and center. We chat to his captain, hide the ship. So they are court to surrender to the jurisdiction of the DOJ court. Soon enough he'll be arrested. But important is this, all the denials of Najib AG, the Court of Appeal, IGP, Takira lagi, how much trita, that consent judgment. Just giving all his assets, habits. So when you go on your campaign, use this. No need any other document, make it simple. Use Riza Aziz for your consent judgment as the political weapon to the juggler of the regime in this coming election, okay? And pray to Allah for guidance and for strength to guide your action. He will protect you, defend you, and guide you. Surrender to the will of Allah. Pray to Him every morning.
for strength, for determination, for justice, for victory. Truth is your weapon. Huh? Suman Dokimini. Truth. Faith in Allah is a shield to protect from all this rubbish, lies, and fake news from the regime. That's why I'm very confident. Don't worry. Your source of documents I give to you. I work till my last breath to give to you all these documents. Okay. These are documents that are in Makama, USA. Okay. For which stepson Riza Aziz agreed to the jurisdiction. Okay. They are now. In other cases, you be When they arrest me and charge me under SOSMA as a terrorist, undermining the financial institutions of Malaysia, I fought. I didn't pay any fine, eh? Whereas what MDB, Ben Nakla says, it's so critical the entire financial system would have been jeopardized. And they meekly pay the fine and pay the fine and PM in parliament in my previous document, press statement, saying that, right? Confirming AG consented to the payment of fine. In Parliament! So don't waste time Go to any other documents. This is enough. This is the nuclear weapon you have in your hands. So my fellow Malaysians, okay? Think carefully. And ask the question, and ask all the MPs in AMNO and BN. Has Riza Aziz turned his back on his stepfather and his own mother? For survival. Otherwise, why enter into a consent judgment? And the court says, uh, the consent judgment will not and shall not be read as exempting anyone in the case from criminal proceedings. Uh. Okay? That means this consent judgment will not prevent DOJ and FBI to go after Riza Aziz or anyone connected with NDB. I challenge Najib, Rosma, anyone in BN government, anyone in all the parties of BN to say that the order that I produced exempts anyone from criminal proceedings. The state was only lifted for this action, this consent judgment. There is a state and criminal process will continue. So this is a third sequel. Okay. First, I give a sequel. Can Yacht of jo uh, the, uh, Jolo's Krakatankap. Yesterday, uh, part two, sequel. Makama, California. All right, close up to Hukuman. Yacht must sail to US. Despite the objection of Jolo and friend companies, all the reasons, excuses, right? No basis. Spurious. My mind, my colleague. Today is a third in the sequel. Huh? Taken together, you don't need any other weapon. Confront your MP, your Adol from Brazil National, and also ask the MPs and other of the opposition parties. Why are you not explaining this to the riot? Not everyone in, right? in the rural areas, even the urban areas, is aware of these documents. Show them these documents to MP. And tell them, don't talk anything else. If people are confused about what MDB, about the criminality, the financial rape of a country, show them this and ask them. Please explain to us in your charama. Alright? The lawyers who are MPs are done. Lawyers who are advisors to the leaders of all parties. Stand up and be counted and explain all this. This is all fake news. Be brave. Don't just talk in parliament. Outside parliament, we have these documents. It's enough. It's enough. Okay? Be brave. Stand up with a backbone straight and a faith in Allah God Almighty. With that, my fellow Malaysians, I've done as much as I can. Huh? 
It's not easy to do all this work. So I'm asking you, do your bit. Don't keep on asking me. Spoon feed you and spoon feed you. Do this, do that. While you sit in the comfort of your house or office and watch my video, right? lift your finger to the mouse, go to internet, Google and confirm. Except the court order, uh, orders, you can't get there. There's no link. Uh, unless you're registered with the court in California and you'll be able to register yourself because you're not a lawyer. You have no interest in the case. I have. So I have, I think I'm one of the few people who have direct access to the court proceedings. Others, you can download. But you don't have to do that anymore. I have given you enough ammunition. The nuclear weapon, the political nuclear weapon to whack them. Okay, stand tall, be brave, and pray to Allah Almighty. Surrender to His will. Right? Because we are fighting evil. Not just all to kick up right? a regime. We are fighting evil, understand? We are fighting evil. We are fighting for truth. To the Muslim brothers and sisters, I ask you and I beg you, go to the Quran, Surah Al Imran, Ayat 60 to 61. Read it and be strengthened by the Arahan from Allah. If they lie, they cheat, they commit crimes, they falsify the Quran. The blasphemy. You have the order from Allah to invoke the curse of Allah on them and gather all your families, your friends, your brothers, and sisters to pray together. With that, I thank you for your attention and I hope you do as I ask you and create as much hits on YouTube and my website and spread it out. My target is right. If you do what I ask you to do, this will spread like wildfire. Please. Please do your minimum before we enter war in the battlefield on election day. You need to arm your soldiers, our fellow citizens, with the weapons. These are your weapons. Okay? With that, I thank you for your attention and God bless you all.